Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my September favorites, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I am very late on sharing my favorites this month because I just haven't had an opportunity to film, so I'm finally sitting down to share what I was loving for the month of September. Um, per usual, I will link every single thing that I mentioned down below in the bottom bar if you are looking for it. The first thing I want to talk about is a personalized pre-sale that I have going on right now for SB. It ends on Tuesday the 12th at midnight. We're doing pre-orders for these personalized bracelets. I get asked all the time if I offer personalized bracelets and I just can't offer them all the time. We don't have the bandwidth to do personalized jewelry all the time, but we are doing personalized bracelets right now. Um, I'll just show you what I have on so you can see it. So these are the two that we're offering right now. The gold and white beads and then the multicolored beads. And they come on the Emma bracelet, which is gold filled beads. So they do not tarnish, which is amazing. They're just really, really good quality. But we are offering these two color options currently. So you can do the multicolor, which those are, they're picked for you, um, or the white and gold. I just think that the colors in the multicolored one are just so perfect for fall. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've seen a lot of different kinds of beads, of letter beads, but I have never seen these kind of colored beads. I've seen white beads with colored lettering, but I've never seen just the straight up colored beads with the gold lettering, and I think that they're so, so, so pretty. So these and the ones with the white and gold lettering are all available until Tuesday the 12th at midnight. I will link them below. You can get anything that you want personalized. You can do um, spacers like this mama one that I have. It just has the spacers in between the letters or you can just have the letters spell something out. And I love these because they make such a good gift. So if you're trying to get ahead of your holiday shopping, which I know shipping is supposed to be crazy again this year, um, this is a great option for those. It's just such a fun gift to give to people. And it's also just fun to do for yourself. If you want to do your name, if you're getting married, like your new last name or kids names, initials, anything you want. Um, I just think that they're so fun to wear and you can stack them up. I usually have a couple of them on at all times. So love these. The other bracelet I wanted to talk about is the Sophie bracelet. It's this one and it comes with an adjustable band. So you can open it up. It'll fit any sized wrist and then you just close it to wherever you want. So at its smallest, it's five and three quarters, which is pretty small. Um, I have about a six inch wrist and that's pretty small. So um, I just love these. I like that they fit anyone and they come in, this is the white. It comes in white, gray, coral, um, purple, green. I think that's it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these are just such a fun, dainty piece. They're so easy to take off and put on and they just go with everything. So absolutely love these. I will link everything that's in my stack. Um, I just have two of the Ella's on and then this is, middle one is the Theo and then the Sophie. And I also had my personalized Emma's on as well. Pregnancy, I feel like wrecked my skin. I... I was on the journey of fixing my skin before I got pregnant, of trying to get rid of all of my dark spots, but um, I just wasn't able to finish the process before I got pregnant. So um, the pregnancy made them exponentially worse. So all of my dark spots that I had are so much darker now, and I do still want to get something done, but I don't think that I can until I'm done breastfeeding. I don't think. I don't know. That's something I could look into. But for the meantime, I have been using this and I absolutely love it. It is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. So there's a concealer side and a brightening side. And um, so they actually sent me one in the wrong shade and I just liked the formula so much I wanted to try it out. So I went out and bought one. This is in the shade 2N. So this is the concealer side and it's just, you just twist it up and that's what it looks like and then of course you can just um, blend it in this has completely covered all of my dark spots so even if i'm just going in with like a medium coverage foundation i can just dot this over all of the dark spots i want to cover really really quickly 
I don't have time for a bunch of steps in makeup right now so on my day to day like eight minute makeup routine that's what I do if I want to have it covered and then this other side I don't use this all the time but I do when I have a few more minutes and I'm doing my makeup and this is the brighten side and again it's the same type of thing you just twist it up and this I only put in my inner corners right here to just kind of brighten up that area so let me do side by side so you can see the difference in the shades so that's the concealer and this is the brightener and I'll just literally draw it right in and then tap it and that's it it's good to go it's such an easy fuss free product it's so easy to travel with if you wanted to and you don't have to have a sponge or anything to blend it if you don't want to you can easily blend it with your finger which i really really like i have been using this pink makeup sponge from real techniques i think it was called like sugar crush or something like that and i used to grab them at target and i just can't find them there anymore i need to do a little bit more research and see if i can get them somewhere else because i just love that sponge but i came across this two pack of um real techniques sponges i decided to try them i've tried this orange one before it's fine i just don't like it as much as the pink one but this one came in that package too and this is supposedly for powder products so i'm going to just show you the difference in the hopefully you can see it almost has like a fuzzy almost like fleecy feeling to it it's the most bizarre thing but i still got it wet and then i'll just dip it into like i've been using the secret brightening powder under my eyes and then my just translucent loose powder on my face i just dip it in and apply it it is so fast and i just love it actually picks up quite a bit of product so i am careful about picking up how much product i actually want but i just feel like it blends so fast so seamlessly that this has basically anything to make my makeup go faster right now is like what I'm all about and this has just been such a great product so this it's whatever it's fine it does the job I don't like it as much as I like the other one which I'm gonna try and find it. if I can find it I'll link it below um, but you, I think you can buy this one separately so this is the real techniques one that's for powder makeup another thing I've been doing with my eye makeup lately just if I want to save time is using just this gel liner and then lining the top and just doing like a slight little wing and then just blending it so it doesn't have to be per perfect you can just do it really quickly and then blend it out and it's supposed to be an imperfect look but this is the urban decay 24 7 glide on gel liner i have this pencil in so many colors it is just so 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 good this is the shade zero i also love the shade rockstar which is a dark purple and i think it looks really good with my green eyes it's not like purple purple i don't know why i was just trying to describe that to you and i can just show it to you so this is the purple this is the black it's just a nice deep deep purple and then obviously the black is a typical black i actually want to get i don't have a dark brown of this liner so i do want to get a dark brown because i think that would be really pretty too but i just think it's such an easy fuss free way to do my eyeliner when i'm trying to go quickly but i just want something more than mascara on my eyes so absolutely love these this formula is amazing and i feel like these are really easy to sharpen i i've tried other liners and some of them are just so hard to sharpen and actually get sharp again or you start sharpening them and like the pencil falls out or there's just some sort of issue with it these are actually fuss free when you're trying to sharpen them which is nice you guys know how much i love the origins um, ginseng moisturizer so this is like their extra big one this is the normal size so you can see this one has 1.7 ounces and this one has 2.5 ounces they actually did a sale on these big tubs which i think that these might have been limited edition but i actually bought two of them on the origin site when they were offering them anyway i just absolutely love this moisturizer so much and they came out with this glow version it's the same thing the ginseng glow boosting gel moisturizer and I just love it i've been using it every single day since i got it i'll just show you the difference i like that it's the same formula because my skin reacts really nicely to this and if you are somebody who's acne prone you know how scary it can be to try a new formula and gel moisturizers i've said this a bazillion times are just the best option as far as moisturizing your skin if you have acne prone skin if you don't moisturize it trigger triggers your skin to produce more oil which will produce more breakouts so you still want to moisturize even if you have acne prone skin but gel moisturizers don't clog your pores and don't weigh your skin down or make you extra greasy so it's just the best option in my opinion if you have similar skin to me this is the original this is the glow and 
it just gives you I probably put too much on because now it's gonna be hard to um, blend it out and show you I'm hoping you'll be able to see that that this is kind of just like clear and shiny and this kind of has like a radiance to it anyway it is just the most beautiful finish on your skin and it just gives you that like lip from within look but it doesn't make you greasy or anything like that so I have been loving this formula I just uploaded my DIY at home gel manicure video which I think that's the last video that I uploaded on my channel anyway I've got to talk about this light it is seriously amazing um, it's so affordable which is awesome and I love that it gives you different settings so it will time it for you or it'll just turn on and not time it and as soon as you put your hands in you don't have to touch any buttons the light just turns on it's so easy to use it's really really lightweight you can easily just throw the cord right inside and store it like that and the cord detaches here so you can just put the whole cord right in there the set also comes with those um, things that you put on with the acetone on your fingers to soak everything off um, and it comes with this little toolkit which I already had tools I needed so I didn't use the tools but it does come with a little toolkit so it gives you like everything you need except for the polish it's super affordable but it's really really good quality so I just wanted to shout this out because I was sent a UV light from a brand and I tried it and it was terrible so I just figured I would talk about this one because it is so good and it's really really affordable I seriously can't even tell you how relieved I am that I have been doing gel manicures at home because my nails were chipping so much when I first had Theo because you're just doing things with him and uh, I just wasn't able to spend as much time to like do my full routine or like paint the amount of coats that I would want or whatever it was I just and I just didn't have time to paint as often so I would go like 9 10 11 days not painting them and then they'd be all chipped and they would look terrible and I'm just the kind of person that I feel naked without my nails done I just really like to have them painted I've always done them myself I don't want to spend the time or the money to go to the salon and get them done so I'm just going to put this out there if you are somebody that goes to the salon and wants a gel um, I would try it at home. I think that you can get a top coat, base coat, color, and um, the light for the price that it probably takes you like two times at the salon maybe, and then you have those forever. So it is way, way, way less money. And because they dry and set right away, it doesn't take time out of your day after you're done painting. You can go right back to living life. And so it's actually a faster process too. So definitely love that like one of the best things that I switched to recently the only downfall is that my nails do curl quickly and I've been leaving them on for like three weeks because I don't have time to paint them and so sometimes I want a new color but I just don't have time to paint them yet which I mean first world problems I've been finally getting back into a workout routine it was way 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 too long um and I'm actually documenting my journey I'm hopefully i will share it we'll see i didn't have any sports bras that fit me so i grabbed this one from target and i really like that the band underneath is so wide so the cups end and then the band is like you know almost two inches wide which is nice and it's this really nice ribbed material so it will hold you in without like squeezing too much um, it does have some padding, not a ton, but the pads are removable if you want them out. Uh, I personally, if you have nursed before, you know, I just kind of want a little bit of extra coverage, so I don't mind the padding. And then the straps are adjustable, which is really nice too. So I just really like this. It was really affordable and um, I was just shocked that I could find, usually I have a hard time finding sports bras, so I was pleasantly surprised that I found this one and that the band, since it is th so thick, stays nicely underneath, but then you can adjust the straps so you still get that support that you want. So if you are larger chested, definitely recommend trying this one out. Um, I've been really, really loving it. Speaking of fitness, this set of resistance bands, has been so amazing to have because um, I'm not going to the gym but I'm following a program right now and I've just noticed that having resistance bands has made it so much easier um, I have dumbbells which is I mean dumbbells are great as well but these I just feel like it's so much less equipment I can just 
bring them into whatever room I'm working out in. And a lot of the workouts that we've been doing, you just close these in a door. So either at the top or the bottom of the door. And then I can just be hanging out with Theo. He'll be like in his bouncer playing with his toys. And then I can get a workout in while still hanging out with him. But the set comes with four different resistance uh, weights and then it also and each of them have the clips on the bottoms it comes with ankle straps it comes with handles and then it comes with this attachment which I'm actually not sure what this is for I could probably look at it but I've been just closing this one into the door so this is like the perfect thing because it's skinny to close right into the door so I'll just put the band in the middle and then have you know the handles on the ends wow this is hard to show <laughs> So I'll have a handle on the end and then I'll have that in the middle and I will be able to have, you know, the two handles and be able to pull them. And anyway, it comes in this little bag. It's super easy to just throw wherever. It's lightweight. It doesn't take up a lot of room and they're so affordable. So if you are somebody who, you know, wants to start working out at home and wants to use weighted workouts, but you don't want to invest in a whole set of dumbbells, that is for you. They're just so good. I'm really, really impressed with the quality of them. And as somebody who's just always used dumbbells and like gym equipment, I think that these are have pleasantly surprised me in the quality of workouts and strength training that I can do with just those. Last but not least, I want to talk about this sweater. We actually are re-releasing it. It was one of the most popular ones from SB last year. And so we wanted to bring it back just because it's just so cute. So it comes with these sleeves that have these palms on them and they're just like this nice balloon sleeve and I love the oatmeal color it's just the most beautiful sweater I love the details of it I will show you guys in the mirror of course but I just wanted to shout this out because I just think the quality is so amazing um, and I just think the details are so cute. It's like a really fun sweater while still being neutral So it gives you like the best of both worlds that you're not going all out there with like a super bright Sweater if that's not what you want, but you still want a little bit of detail to make it like more interesting and fun So this sweater is finally back. I'm so excited about it. It does fit true to size So just grab your regular size and I love that you can just wear it out. You can wear it front tucked um, It looks so cute with skirts which I just don't have, I don't have a lot of clothes that fit me right now, so I definitely don't have any skirts that fit, but um, that's just a great option too. This room is a mess. You're going to have to excuse it. Priorities of filming over cleaning it up. Anyway, this is the sweater. I love the sleeves so much. The texture is so pretty and the color is just gorgeous. It's oatmeal, but it has like these charcoal threads in it too. So it just gives it like a completely different, more unique look. But the palms are just the cutest detail. I really like the details of it. It is the same length in the front and in the back. You could of course front tuck it. I'm wearing like the highest jeans ever right now. So maybe not tucking it with these jeans. But if you had slightly lower jeans, like these ones go above my belly button. Uh, but yeah, this is just the perfect fall or winter sweater. It's nice and warm. Um, so I will link it. Alrighty guys, that is everything that I was loving for the month of September. Everything will be linked down below in the bottom bar for you if you're interested in it. Let me know in the comments what your favorites were for September. I always love to hear what you guys have been loving for the past month. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.